Reflow soldering is very important process for your SMT line and I would say it is the backbone of your SMT process. In a reflow profile we have preheat zone, socking zone, reflow zone, cooling zone. Establishing thermal profile should start right from your NPA stage. Some people start with some generic board, bare board, then they start taking some rough profile. Then when they start real production, they fine tune with the first board a little bit. Then second board comes in, they tweak further. And third board comes in, they tweak further. Then this keep going maybe by the time you done with your you know, few boards and some critical components may have damaged by this time because it may not have reached the proper temperature that requires to get soldered. Sometimes you are overheating and damaging the components. I recommend using product boards for uh, thermal profiling for your NPIs and uh, also for your normal production boards. To establish a thermal profile, you should have a proper thermal profiling equipment and uh, thermocouples with different thermal bead sizes and a product board. And it's very important to have a product board because that really replicates real thermal mass of your board and it really gives the reality. Instead, you start with some, you know, bare PCB or something like that. For more information, you can read my technical paper on thermal profiling or email me or visit indium.com.